welcome to your french class in this class we learn about adverbs okay l'adverb now why do we use adverbs as in english we know an adverb is a word that tell us more about a verb an adjective or another adverb or you can say an adverb is a word that qualifies the action of the verb it tell us how and when the action is performed it also answers questions about the action such as how when how much and where now some of the commonly used adverbs are plus moins bien mal trop assez maintenant plus tard tôt tard toujours jamais souvent rarement d'abord enfin très en peu long etc so this was a general introduction of adverb Now we'll see some rules of adverbs. Les règles de la formation des adverbes. Now we are aware it has three functions. It describes an action, it describes an adjective, and it also describes an adverb. So here comes the first rule. If the adjective ends in a vowel, we add the ending ment mon to the adjective to form the adverb. Okay? Like rapid is an adjective and here we we'll add m e n t more with rapid and we'll make a new word we'll make an adverb habit more now the next word is poly poly means polite now we'll add m e n t means more with poly and we'll make an adverb polymo here you need to learn one thing that when the adjectives are ending with a vowel we just simply add m e n t more okay like the first word rapid was ending with e and the next word poly was ending with i so both are vowels so we just need to add m e n t after the word to change this adjective into adverb now comes the next rule rule number 2 if the adjective does not end in a vowel we will add the ending m e n t more to the feminine form of the adjective now here we have the first word long now we'll use the feminine form of this adjective that is lente and we'll add m e n t and we'll make it an adverb lentement now the next adjective is do we'll again take the feminine form dus and we'll add m e n t and we'll make it an adverb doucement now the next word is joyeux and we'll again take the feminine form of joyeux that is joyeuse Now we'll add m e n t with the feminine form, and we'll change it into an adverb, joyeusmo. Now comes the third rule. If the adjective ends in a n t, we replace the term a n t by amo, a double m e n t. Now here we have the first adjective, suffisant. Now this adjective is having the ending of a n t, and we'll change this a n t into a double m e n t. Okay, so it will be read like suffisamment. Now the next given adjective is élégant. Now again, this adjective is ending in a n t, so we'll change it into a double m e n t, and it will be read like élégamment. Now comes rule number four. If the adjective ends in e n t, we replace the ending e n t by e double m e n t. Okay. Now we have two adjectives here. prudent and innocent now both the adjectives are having the ending of ent and we'll replace it with e double m e n t okay so after adding e double m e n t prudent will be read like prudemment and the next word innocent will be innocemment now rule number 5 now we have a rule to place the adverb parfois we always write the adverb parfois at the beginning of the sentence okay like here we have been given one example parfois je ne fais pas mes devoirs now rule number 6 is also related with the placement we can write the adverb aujourd'hui and demain at the beginning and also at the end of the sentence okay you can place aujourd'hui and demain at the beginning or at the end okay So here we have again two examples. Aujourd'hui, je fais de l'aérobic. And the next example is je vais faire du jogging demain. 
You can also say demain je vais faire du jogging and aujourd'hui can also be placed at the end. Now comes rule number seven which is also related with the placement. We can write long adverbs either in the beginning or at the end of the sentence. Now the first example is généralement nous mangeons ensemble. Now the next example is j'ai attrapé le rhum malheureusement. Now malheureusement is again a long adverb so we can place it at the end. Now comes the last rule, rule number eight, which is also related to the placement. We write adverbs like ici and là after the direct object. Like in the first sentence, j'ai mis les fleurs là-bas. Now here the direct object is les fleurs. Now in the next sentence, j'ai trouvé le sac à main ici. Now le sac à main is again a direct object. So we'll use ici just after this. Ok, j'ai trouvé le sac à main ici. Les différentes catégories d'adverbes. Now let's have a look at the different categories of adverbs. Like adverb of manner, adverb of quantity, adverb of time, adverb of place, etc. So please go to the above given link to see how to use these adverbs in sentences. So that's it for today. See you in the next video. Till then, bye bye.